Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome to tonight's game of Game 3 as we're about to be starting the next matchup. Right now the Bruins have already won two games in Boston, but now they are away and they are at Tampa Bay to play against the Bolts to rematch here again for Game 3 at Amali Arena. This next matchup is going to be a very tough call between the range. So it says, we mentioned it before, since 2019, that was the last one that was definitely here played here before here at, at Amali Arena. But at this moment, we'll find out who will win this part of the next game. As we're standing by, we have this fan, along with the other contestants here, from the commentator, as along with OJ and the center, sorry, light bulb, and then the center ice, will be me phone. All right, folks, I know what you're thinking. I think it's about that time to get started. Fan, take it away. Enjoy your next game for the first doubleheader tonight. Hello, everyone, Fan here, and we are at Amoli Arena. Tonight's coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Bolts and Bruins are ready for game three of round two. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Here the courtesy line is being here as Scott we have is Charlie McAvoy. Across from the other side we have is Pat Bergeron. Debrusque is right there in the middle. A stopping save here by Veselevsky and as your starting goaltender for tonight. Headman right over here on the other side. Then over here we have is Marchand. And Killorn from the, from the bolts along with Kucherov. And Braden Point. And finally we have here in the middle that will be Bogashan. And over on the backhand, it's going to be a tough one for Victor Hedbank. And for the starting goaltender, number 35, as this one will be the first one take. And Orlov with the center. The one player disposition, I have to tell this one, this is very that intense. This matchup of this rival has definitely turned out to be very close call. But not as you can be seen here by close players who really have the hard time to take over it. They have a lot of them, and they are trying to get it away with everybody to do it all over it. They are going to be a clash-to-clash -clash showdown between the Atlantic Coast of Division. Here's Bogashan, you will have it over to Cable. With a new line change, then shot, stayed me by Omar. That is your starting goaltender for game number three. Now we're ready to take another face-off here in the offensive Wayne territory. 7.27 to go in the first period. Lindholm will have it in here in bounding. Passes over to Pasternak's. Sergeyev regroups the puck. Now here's Pasternak's right on the other end. He passes along to Zacha. Zacha get a little swung over each other, but he still recovers it. And now Sergeyev will have it out. Kreji has the puck here, now passes over. Hagel try to defend it. Now he passes to Sergeyev. Sergeyev passes over to Stamkos. Here's Stamkos right on the 2 on one shot, and stop made by Omar. One nice say about Steven, oh, Steven Stamkos, he was the captain here for the part of the Tampa Bay Bulks. He has over 100, 510 goals. That is insane. And I have to tell you this one here, this is a very great combination for every season along the way, especially with the postseason. Oh, there is a mistake on the defensive, and DeBrusque had that goal. A problem is, I gotta look at this replay. It looks like the puck was right in the goaltender. That was an off start, and it was a shocking run. I did not even notice what was gonna happen. But in that case, I gotta say, they're, it's just not very that good. They, they gotta try to rebound it again. Two times stop here for Omar. Puck leads out of the Bruins territory. Sergeyev will try to carry over the corner, now passes over to Colin. The bolts are now into the end, or on the end of the side. Jeanette fighting across the gun is Clifton. No penalty called on Tampa Bay. Bertuzzi over again to Forbert. Forward still running it over with the offensive run. Pass to Frederick. Shot saved by Veselevsky. He's going to hold it right now with only 14.05 to go. But to some players in particular, 
It's very that tough to be out of the range. Boston has a one nothing lead, a little defensive breakdown, but it's not very that easy, and the puck goes right toward the goaltender. A huge mistake. Nozick, love save by Vasilevsky. Just about 13.46 remaining in the first, still no score for the, for the faults in the first. Now they're ready to do another faceoff. This section is a very tough team that they always have ever played it since the regular season. Save by Vasilevsky! My gosh, that is a great save. Yeah, definitely tell you that one here. Vasilevsky, very, very tough on the player in inbounding, but you know, it's definitely what everyone counts for. Best goaltenders in across from each team. Every postseason, they just they just try to keep it over. It's a hard one to maintain, but for a regular season, it's very good to keep it going. Bogshan passes over to Maroon. Maroon on the shot! Rebound it up and it's bad, bad off. Colton couldn't make the double connection with the goal. Here's Maroon back the other way. Try to keep it over the run, his headman. Perry on the right side. Up and over the glass. Orloff's got the puck now over to McAvoy to DeBrus. DeBrus right towards the right wing. Killorn will take it over. Tampa Bay are on the offensive zone for the Boston Territory. No penalty called on Boston. They're still clean because they're really like on their way of the defensive in the run set. They, they really want some revenge out there. They never really wanted to leave alone. Kucherov right towards the point. Point shot, dip back pass. And save goes right over and around the goaltender. DeBrusk tries it over to the McAvoy to Marchand. Marchand still looking for some open room. Knocks him down. DeBrusk and Kucherov will take the puck away. After a puck steal, he goes to point. Point with the shot. It's deflected and goes off right towards the wall. Killorn back to Kucherov. To point. Shot stop again. Killorn shot. Saved by Olmar. That saves me. Comes up with a big save of the motion. Most of them can't really just try to make another connection feed right over him. We have met, never passed it as we are almost passing the midway period. Boston still have a one nothing lead over the Bolts. Now Kel Carlo will have it in mounting. Now Bertuzzi will have it in, in the range. Passes to Hagel. It's broken up. Hagel goes down. Coyle tries to regroup here under the offense for Boston. He now pushes over to Coyle. Moves it quickly over to Carlo. Back to Frederick. Now Frederick gets to Bertuzzi. Pot save. Stop made by Veselevsky. Cole right down to Hagel with 9.30 remaining. Hagel in the wing. Try to go for the pass. Stab go shot. Save me. That went right towards the corner of the wall and it now goes the other way. It looks like it's Stamkos was trying to do it. And and you know, it was not that really that tough that no no other player can do that. They really are starting to get under struggle with the team. It's not very that complicated that they are just going in between the inside of the range. And that target might be a hard one to try to maintain it up and block it right away. Carlo passes over again to Pasternak's. He dishes off to Kirchy. Kirchy right into the corner. Shot saved! Coyle back over to Paul and now racing over his net. Three on two. One shot. Glove saved by Almar. Under eight minutes to go in the first period. Still a one nothing lead. We are calling for Linus Olmark. He is able to put an x-ray vision to have his sensibility to make that one a one-time save. He's most of the attention that's coming in right in timing. But it all does happen now. He might be searching it for another wild save. Over with the bolts and in the right postseason to give it off their run. Now here's Paul. Paul lost the puck and they will have to head back over to the bolts territory. Now finds Paul. Resetting the puck over is Colton. Colton on a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Attacking the rim and it's off and right towards the net. Here's another angle. Frobix takes it over and now Maroon will have it here. He gives up a diagonal pass to Perry. 
Perry enters his own. Bellinar with the shot, saved by Walmart. Behind the net in coverage. Forbert got it across. Halfway right toward the middle into the offense zone. He lost the puck, but we'll have it back. Now Nozick will have it in here. That's a big save here by Veselovsky. They're all going in. They're just really trying to like keep him out of here. Perry right towards the Bellamar. Shot safe and no connection to put that goal back in play. Half away right towards the up and they're now into the Bolts territory. Two on one. Forbert blocked the shot by Forbix. Takes it inbounding. That goes off the target. Here's Bergeron, and Furbix got a good poke check away here on Bergeron. Kircherov right towards the wing on the offense. But the shot stopped and made by Olmark. Belomar passes to Kucherov. Over to Hedman, to Bogoshan. Bogoshan blocked the shot by Bergeron. They're all over it because they were ready to go with the defenders. His head coach was saying, we can't lose that. You have to play smart here on defense because this is what we always do. We have the team to make this one a comeback switch. Don't let anybody get over it. Oh, Lena Solmark makes a save on that run, and it's 3 of 49 remaining in the first. Lots of time in this period. Boston still have a one nothing lead over Tampa Bay. Bergeron wins the faceoff, and McAvoy is right toward the end of the breast. The breast still finding a man, out, man advantage opener. Trying to get into the zone. Pass to Bergeron. Saved by Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky's going to hold it with the puck with only 3.22 in the first period. And I'm out of time to get the faceoff ready. Now they're ready to do another faceoff in the zone. It's still a 1 0 lead. Tampa Bay needs to get three, and they have one. Headman over to Bogashan. And we got a slash call on Boston. And they are going to get it in there. It's not a great timing when you always get the slash. They really got to get that one out. Now the power play is on. As the Boston Bruins have a penalty kill, Charlie Coyle in the box. Now the Bolts are ready to take their power play in the first period. Now the wing for Paul. Here's Hedman. Passes to Stamkos. Goes with the shot. It's blocked up. And it goes right over to the net. Out of play. With this one call, as Nikita Kucherov has an ultimate van advantage to take over with the make it snappy ability. He has a great timing to keep right over it. We know we got a great x-ray vision for a put up for Olmark. He's already been showing it. I'll be watching him here for the have power play at this moment. And right now we'll see what happens. What goes with Nikita Kucherov and her team to get in the power play. Back to you. Carla almost lost the puck and now we'll give it over to Bar Marchan. Marchand's right over again to Forber. Forber on a move. Right in Hegman will try to give it over to Perry. Two minutes remaining in the first period. One minute for the power play. Scores! There's your goal for game three. It's Nick Paul. That's 12 goals in the playoffs. What a lucky guy. As you know that Nick Paul just give that one a deflection. That is what you did to make that one count. Crutchy wins the faceoff. Now your team is ready to go in on the inbound. Craigie hit off the glass and Pasternak gives it over. Try to bump it out. Your step goes right over to Hedman. That will be the power play goal for Nick Paul as he has his first goal of the power play in the postseason. Pasternak is inside of his own, passes to Craigie. And a shot made. Can't get over into it and it's stayed out of the net. Under a minute ago here in the first period, here's Stankos on a quick move, and McAvoy will try to take it over. Boston Bruins are back into the offense zone for Bertuzzi. Back to Friedman, and Hagel gives it over to Stankos. Stankos passes to Rally. Move around the middle, but save comes up by Omar. 
10 seconds left in the first period. Coyle trying to race towards to make the buzz beater. It's blocked. Coyle shot and save. And that will end the first period. Great game to make a tie releasement. It's a 1-1. One -one. A power play for Bolts, and we'll be right back with the second period. Welcome back to Amalia Arena as we're about to start the second period. And we are all set right now for the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs in Game 3. Let's have your statistics here for, for the good look for a light bulb and sees right now as it's standing by. In that case of it, it's a very tough one that everyone has done. But that one, first period, was a mistake because that was a disaster that did happen. The puck went right near Andre Vesilevsky and then all that sudden, and really that happened. The change thing was very that uh, inconsumering it and then all this happened now is right now they just got that goal right away. But now, in the, during the closing for the first period, they've got the goal back. They definitely did get a power play after Charlie Charlie Coyle had gotten a penalty kill. And for that one, it was very uh, deeply infiltrating to everyone else who has been already been left out. Sometimes, however, they really never get there at that point. So at this time, there might be another way they could try to like help them save the day and try to all angle it down to do with the pressure. Hits Crunchy right towards the middle, rebound, and scores! Pashinox receives two goals in the game, and they are back up by one. Easy with this one, David Pashinox got a good look of a strength. Nice kill. This setup and this change is really not that always easy. While well, you can tell that Jake DeBrusque was really up and penetrating, he was right in towards near the goaltender. And this all had to happen, that this was very not close enough, and he did get a good shot. He scores! Kucherov gets 26 goals in a game, and they're back-to-back tight. On the other note, it looks like Kucherov got that goal. We've seen the last game right at this moment in game number six with the overtime winner of this one. This was a crazy game, and they moved on to beat against the Leafs. It was nothing but what they did. He scores! It's a goal! Now they're in the lead! All they wanted to do is just keep on shooting. That's what we all do for. Good, good passes. That's what they did. Now the Bolts are back in the lead, and they are now a 3-2 in a second period. The Bolts are not quitting here in this game because they have more to take him away. Save me by Omar. It's bumbled up and Crenji takes it over to Pasternak. Now Pasternak will have it over into the right wing. Pass to Zacha. Move around that. That's off the target and it's a nice big crumb down. Bezileski gives the fervents. Now Sir Riley will take it over. Sir Riley gives it off to Stamkos. Watching the offside on that play, but now it still continues, and now they'll bring their team in his own. Ferbix enters in the Burns territory. Lingholm's got it across in the corner, now passes to Bertuzzi. In the middle, Bertuzzi, with the shot. Patton saved me by Vizilevsky with a good shot. And they've got it punched in. Charlie Coyle gets it all tied up. You never saw that coming because it was always Charlie Coyle. It was not really the setup of this, it it's only changes for once. That's what he did really had happen. And it's all that gold comes in, Andre Vesilevsky didn't have the right timing to do it right away. That's going to like turn it over and it's going to mess up the whole entire team of the players to get over exaggerated and get refueled and they're going to have to talk it over. Frederick in the move to lead it and Vesilevsky save. 15.50 to go, it's tied up with threes. With only, of course, Andre Vesilevsky. He has a contrariness that he has definitely made his only one ability to make a wild save. It's easy to call after with the defensive play after the swing by Toronto Maple Leafs. He had it all down here just one time and you get it all in frustration. Sometimes, they're really on to a biggest save of the market. 
Well, I'll be watching here for another saving game in the belt. Jeanette right towards the wing. Carlo takes it over right around the net and now goes to Carl. Went home to Bergeron. Boston into the Bolts territory. Takes the pass to DeBras and pat and kicked away for Vasilevsky. He denies that one. We don't want that one to get this one a good look of a goal because they already got it right away. Here's Colin passes to Paul. Paul right in the middle. Lindholm takes the puck and takes it out. Now Lindholm will try to deliver over to Bergeron. On a one-on-one -on -one attack. For the zone and saved by Vesilevsky. Sonax has it across here against the Killorn. They're moving the puck right to Kucherov. Kucherov with the move. Marcel Ryan, make it snappy, fails, and it's Ulmer with the save. Now here's the brush on the other side. Coyle will try to recover it. Behind the net of the cage. Turnax. Pass to Killorn. Passes the point. Point on the muscle. In the wing. Crushes down right towards the offended boards, and it's clipped in. Oh, wow. Looks like he had a neck with that one. You know, they really are starting to stalk, show him off like they did. Says, hello there. That's all that they really wanted to get over this. Killorn goes down. No Segura again. Now here's Greer. Greer over again. Half away now. Gives it over to Nosek. Twelve minutes left to go in the second period. And they're starting to get a little bit warmed up. Excellent easy save by Veselovsky. Kucherov. Can't find a man opener. Trying to get Greer right around the net. Veselovsky holds it up at the puck here with just only 11.33 to go in the second period. And they're about to get hydrated up and ready for the faceoff. Linus Olmark and Andrei Veselovsky are very tough in the range. We noticed that this was a very close call to give that one a short step run. But it's not very that hard of how well they are going to do. It's not very that tough that everyone keeps it right towards it underneath. I'll be watching in between the x-ray vision of Linus Olmark and Andrei Veselovsky with the control this. One of them will be heading in to have the free star players for the free game, third game, of the playoffs. Back to you guys. Nearing the mark of the midway period, they are still tied up looking for a next goal to take the lead. Perry lost the puck and Coyle has it grabbing away. He will carry the puck right around the net. Now here's Edmund, he was right on the other side, now gives it over to Perry. Perry passes to Bellamar. Pass to Perry. And Orlock takes the puck over. And now Bertuzzi will have it in the other way. He moves around from side to side. The shot range, Bogashan grabbing the rebound after a save by the goaltender. You saw that this was very, very interesting. Not everybody does the same thing, but they don't really penetrate to anybody else. They really done it very hard. Here's Furbix, he will have that puck right around the end. Inning over to Maroon. To Bats to Bellamar. Back to Maroon. Here he comes. Over Bellamar shot. Trying to put a rebound, but it's Orlov that grabs it away after a goaltender save. Here's another one for Cernax. And the puck is almost about to leave, and it leaves out. Now regrouping over his passion knocks over into the offensive wing. Passes to Kredgy. Kredgy shot. Oh, almost had that in. But Zaleski still holds on. Oh, close call. It looks like they're battling for the puck. They cannot be determined. Like they were going to try to like lose it out. If they get the goal, they're going to get back in the lead. And you know it, that they can do it. Boston back into the Bolts territory. What a wonderful save! And Furbix back to Colton. Tampa Bay rushing into the Boston territory. Trying to make a spin move, but it's Olmark that made a stop. 7.34 remaining in the second period of the game. Still tied up. Now they're ready to do a never time on attack and the face off drop puck. Now Kredgy will take the win. Lindholm will have it over to Carlo again. Passes to Pasternak and he's inside with Zacha. 
7.15 remaining. Pasternak shot. That's saved off again by Vasilevsky with a pad. Rebound it. Oh, that's a bad target right here, and it did not hesitate to get through it. Well, he went right towards around it. He was stuck up right to the, to the goal, goal net. It almost would have been come out loose already. If it they, if they goes loose, then they're going to have to pause it and then re and then reposition it for the, for the goal net to try to recover it again. Killorn all by himself! Oh, big save! Kucherov gets slammed right down to the board. Halfway passes the Zacha. Six minutes remaining in a second period, and it's still a tie game. They're looking for a next goal. Here's Point. He will have it over again to Killorn. Killorn right towards the wing. Moving it over. Forward takes a steal. Greer right towards the end. Takes a spin move over to Nozick, and now it goes in right to Hathaway. Bruins are ready to take their possession. Up with the shot. That goes off towards the wall, and it's Bogusham over again to Kucherov. Lightnings are moving in. Good night by the goaltender. What a great stop here for Olmark. And it's only 4.48 to go in that second period. Now, using never face off, they were ready to take the inbounding. Now here's another one as they will be taking it over to Clifton. Back to Forbert over again to Marchan. Marchand to Bergeron. The Boston Bruins are making their way into the move and it falls offside. Right in the blue line. They will have a face off ready to go. Now they're off to do it again. Still tied up, looking for the next goal in the second period before time expires. Bergeron wins it over, and Clifton will have it inbounding back to DeBrusque. Oh, slam it down, the lightning strike on DeBrusque. That's what they wanted to do, to try to knock him down. No, oh, the pay for it always needed. Olmark's going to cover here with only 4-1 to go in the second period, and now it's coming in towards right down to the end of the mark. Nearing the closer to the end of this period, Two teams are tied it up. It's a neck-to-neck -neck run, looking for our next goal to take it over. Now DeBrus will have it in to the offensive wing, over again and under. Save me by Vesilevsky. Looking over, Headman. So early will have it inbounding now, over to Hagel. Hagel with the shot. That's kicked away and it's out of here, right towards the glass. Samko, rebound in front of it. Sorelli, that saved me. Denied by the goaltender, it's Orlov with a save. You're never going to get that with credit call because otherwise, that was a toughest pad save in between. He moves it in inside and out from left to right and right to left. That is very close call. What a save made for Linus Olmark. He is pushing P. Stamp goes right near the goaltender, and now Orlov will have it. Passes over to Coyle. Under in the, for in the wing, here's Coyle. Shoots one, Bezilevsky with the save. Two minutes to go in the second period, still climbing down, looking for the next goal to take the lead. Can't connect with the pass. Sergeyev over to Forbix. Forbix shot, that's a save made by Olmark. Frederick trying to leave it alone right from here. Passes along the way right around the board. Over to Furbix on the other end. Taking the puck away with a loose chain. Zacha recovers it. Back to Pashinox. One minute left to play in the second period. It is still tied up looking for the next goal to answer back. Here's Perry right towards passing the blue line. Looking to zone. Sorelli. Move around. Stop and save me by Allmark. You're always getting away with this one, you know. It's very that tough trying to keep it out of it at the range site. Furbix fires and goes way wide. Perry almost went tough enough here, but Olmo got that run to try to keep it out with the net. Zacha right into the center. To beat the buzz beater, and Furbix will give it over and done. So that ends the second period. No goal in the lead for the second period. It stayed silent for now. We'll have a next goal in the third period when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. It's about that time. The third period is where we finished the game at Tampa. 
the puck is dropped and we are all set for the finishing game of game number three. Oh, this one's going to be a bad call. That will be a hooking call on Victor Hedman. He slashed up on that one. It's not very not high sticking to go with it out first. This right towards his face. He was slammed and it was hit right toward from the helmet. Watch that from here. You see that play? That was right toward his face. That is going to be a bleeding and he could have to go get him some treatment to get it done. Power play is about to start for the Boston Bruins and could a bad start for the Tampa Bay to try to take him over. And the ball really just got him turned out the way. As they cleared it out, here's Pasternak. Tashes off. No man opener here in the Volts territory. Calls right around the net. Bellamar will have it out. Now they go into Bruins territory here. Pasternak has one covered up, and now McAvoy gives it over to Dubois. Back to Bergeron. Now across the line, they go from Skittle. Marchand, the breast shot, rebound, and way off target for the pad by Veselevsky. It's very uh, difficult to try to keep it over because they're really that tough, and you know that. That's for sure, but they're keeping it over with the better offensive look at the stride. That's what they've done a lot much better than they did. Here's the press, and Veselevsky will hold the puck here with only 18-21 to go. Still score time. Teams are ready to get their face up in. Because right now, there's still power play going on for Boston Bruins. So really wins the face off. So the champ right towards the wing. Gets the puck right over into the Bruins territory. Now Lindholm will have it in here for out of the tape. To Paterzi. Back to Coyle. In the offense down. Looks like Victor Hedman's getting out of the penalty box. Right around the back. Hagel in the corner while the power play has already expired. Right now they're making new changes here for the Bolts. And there's a lot of the places choices out there. There looks like a sticking out right here from Veselevsky was a hard one to try to take him over. That is a great save. And you know this was a very tough match. Everybody has to, has to reject on that one here, but the thing is, it's very impossible to get that one done. Both teams are set ready to take the face off the butt drop. The Bruins will have their own offensive run. Gloved it out. Save me by Veselevsky. Good time reaction. That's great. All they say was catch it right away without getting it rejected. Now they're ready to do another face-off here. It's still a tie game. Three and three is where we sat. The Bolts will win it over and now Furbix will have it on across the angle of the board. Now finding Sergeyev. Here's Sergeyev back over to Hagel. The Bolts are now in their offense zone. Sam goes shot. Uh, it looks like a deflection was off again and tried to stick clip it. And then the goaltender got it in. It's easy to say because if he gets that one deflected and gets stick clip, that helps him slow down from the players of this offense. Save me! Wow, on top of the net and then right back behind the net. That was close. Stamkos right towards the corner of the wall. Recovers it. In the mid mound. Save me by Walmart. Still not enough to get there, because right now they're about to do some face off, getting digs right on the ground. Now we are ready to do another face off. We haven't hit the mid -may midway period yet. It's still a 3 3 game. Olmark had 38 saves. The last time in game two, he had 72 saves in the game number two. It was authentic, and he was already wide awake, and that was all that did happen. I know that it was really good, but to say how this one ever turned out, I mean, you always say that Linus Olmark is like the best goalie in the defensive set for the Bruins. They definitely got it done. Make it snappy is Brad Marchand as this one goes with another bang. Marchand's with his own move. He wants to give it over to try to get the snappy shot, but it's all it does turn out. It's just a hard one to go with the offense run. Save me by Omar! That's number 40 in a row. Bergeron has stopped the play here and Corbix will have a ever look. Passes over again to Kucherov. Now passes over to Killorn. Killorn passes. It's stopped by Bergeron. Bergeron right over to the wing. Gets smashed down. Bergeron's still up there. 
Carla with the puck. Now moving in. The backhander takes away from it. Fairbix have it over. Now he passes to Kucherov. Kucherov passes to Point. Point moving over. Finds Killorn. Killorn shot. Not stopping off the gap. The 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 off the goalie mask. And almost went up to the face. Bertuzzi right king to the offense zone, now picking at this run. Headman will try to take it over in bounding. Kucherov has a right in, into the neutral zone to their wing of the territory for the Bruins. Passes the headman around him, and it went so close to the goaltender, right to the goalie net. McAvoy over again to Israel. Oh, wow, that's a big smash. Frederick, shot blocked by headman. Frederick over again to Olaf. Finds McAvoy. He was bubbled down. Bogashan over again to Jeanette. Jeanette going to Colton. Right towards the corner. Shot scores! They're back in the lead. Colton gets two goals. That's what they always say because Colton just really can't believe. Now he had it all down there, and that's what he was. Astonishing player. Jeanette really had that assist coming down. It was all a desk cleared out. Right now their lead is putting up for bolts, and it looks like they are not going to give up here. They want to just keep it going. Penman right to the corner. Trying to find another way. Orlov is stuck behind. Now Colin trying to battle it again. Oh, save me by Omar. And so about 11.27 to go in the third period. Now they're ready to do it again for another face-off. The score is 4-3 over the Boston Bruins. Now Sorelli wins the face-off. Finds Hedman on the outside, finds Hegel. Back to Sorelli. Sorelli, no goal, no penalty called yet on the Boston Bruins. Sorelli on Hedman. Finds the pass to Stamkos. Stamkos with the backhand, it's deflected and gloves save. Olmark's going to hold the puck here with just only 10.50 remaining in the third period. They're all getting over there. Just like a fire drill that you're get, grabbing the puck and then you got to trap it. Just stop and freeze the puck and then do what you have to do. Krenji wins their faceoff. Now McAvoy will have it over again to Orlov. Orlov passes over again to Sacha. Sacha trying to move across into the wing. Zacha finds Krenji in the middle. That went right towards the wall and it goes bounced out. Bouncing off is a very tumble way. They never seen it where it was going to happen. Puck carries out in the Bruins territory. Pasternak is in the corner. Stan goes back to Hagel. Stan goes has one. Now McAvoy will have it over again at Krenji with only 9.40 to go. Shot blocked by Hagel, by Hedman. Hammond back to Bogoshan. Bogoshan deep past the carry, right into the neutral zone to the offense zone. That puck goes out and out of out of play. Now they're ready to do this one again. The Bolts have the, the lead by four and three over the Bruins. Trying to figure out what had Hedman done. Four blocks in a row. Definitely turned out big here tonight. He's honestly doing it really well. I mean, that's a great defenseman on the offense. I mean, he is like the biggest moment. Oh boy, this is not very really that good. He's wrapped up and the penalty calls for Tampa. That's not really happening at all. When he went down, he was rushing. All it does really have happened, an elbow, it was going to be a tough call. And you know, Patrick Maroon happened again. He's not happy with this one. The head coach is having a hard time. They should never let that happen and go right away. The Bruins are, are back on the power play strength. This could mean they could tie this game up by four if they get a next goal in. Now here's Giro. They're next right over again into their Bruins territory as the puck goes out of here. Picking up the run is Krejci. Now finds Bergeron. Over to Marchand right towards the neutral safe off zone. Now Cole will take it over. He fires it across. Finding another way is Krejci over again to Bergeron. Bergeron to DeBrusque. Bruins are on the attack, still not giving up. 
They're both trying to look for some open shot. Save me by Veselevsky. He's going to hold up for the whistle here with only 7.50 to go in the third. And with that one, here's David Pashinox. Pashinox has an ultimate range to take over. The snipe can also help him out. Let's find out if he did, takes a snipe in there to make that go in. Veselevsky saves it again, and that one will be coming in to 7.44 to go in the third period. We've already passed the midway mark of this period. The Bolts still have a 4-3 lead over the Bruins score in a game three. Cernax tries again, way deep. That goes right around the net. Now they're in their zone, on their way to attack. Coyle moves it across to the left side. Passes, it's broken up. Kalora will fire it away. Into the corner. Now over again to Pasternak. Seven minutes to go in the third period. Zacha into the offense zone. Trying to look for some help here. Maroon's getting out of here right in time. And he scores! Wow! This is the back-to-back -back game switch, and Charlie Coyle does it. Well, you're telling that Revelle Zacha was giving it off to Charlie Coyle. He was never seeing it, what was going on. All he was doing it, he'd give a pass right over it and try to beat the goalie out of it. That's a great help. The power play goal comes in and now they're tied up again. This is a tough battle in the Atlantic Coast of Division in between the two. It's the rival, what they say? This is what's the tough one to get. Uh -huh. I know what you're saying. You really are tough than you know. Sometimes it gets things very badly. But nothing to kill you, you got it on your own. Nikolai Kucherov is right out in here as Mifon stands by. Kucherov is doing really well to keep that one offense right. At this point, he makes it snappy. He's really doing it really well to keep the offense up and in a notch to do whatever one again. He's putting up another show out there, guys. They're just doing it as the best as they can. McAvoy over to get the Bergeron. Passes the Bruss. Well, Bruss went down and his helmet came out. He's replacing a new one. It looks like the other player is going to have to get it. Veselovsky makes a save with only 5.26 to go in the third. They're getting a lot of that tough out there, and you know that. Now both teams are ready to get in for the faceoff. Coming up later tonight will be the Kraken and the Kings here at Seattle to start for the first game, the third game, here in round number two. For the coverage here, along with the other guys, OJ will be here for commentating for tonight, along with the other two of Test Tube, and finally, the center ice will be Senate Feast. I will be back here to keep an eyes on that one here after the game is over. That will be next on Senate Feast. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you don't, somebody will. And they will get you, and they will get you shot and shooting you crazy, and you'll be sorry if someone gets a ball. Just kidding. Brobix over again to Stamkos. Stamkos! Oh, the backhand didn't really work! Sir Riley's shot went wide. Circuit champ over into the corner. Stamkos goes shot wide and it goes out of the zone. Frederick recovering again. Under five minutes, McAvoy still trying to find Coyle. Coyle looking for the third goal in the game with a hat trick. It's blocked. Now Torelli over to Hagel. Hagel with the loose chain. That's fumbled down. Bertuzzi has that puck in over into their offense zone. Now he fires it. Mazalewski holds it with a good puck and left string to make a save. 3.34 to go in the third period. Still getting warmed up now. They really are doing a lot much better than they have. And that's why I always know. This is definitely what everybody was thinking. They all get it. They got it. They just really wanted to keep that string going. Tampa Bay back in the New York offense zone in the Burns territory. Finds point. Point goes down. Killorn regroups the puck. Bogus on the headband. Fires across. That was off and wide. The puck escapes the zone, and now he will have to clearly reinforce to regroup their team. It's not what everybody does. It's not about what you want to reinforce it. You have to reinforce and regroup at the same time. Then when the puck goes out again, you got to get back. Headman right over again the point. 
quite finds again the Killarn. Killarn trying to look over again to Bogashan. Bogashan goes down. Debrusk over into the corner on the offense side. Still trying to find an open man advantage. Coil right to the corner. March in. It's blocked up again by. Sorry about that one. The brass shot. Oh, Svezilevsky made that good save. Nearing 90 seconds in the third period. Still looking for a goal to try to keep it up. If they don't, then we are heading to advance overtime. Will there be a prediction here, Lightball? Well, I'm sure they do. I mean, well, who could I figure? I could always say that overtime is a lot much harder than they were all going for. I wanted to make that one clear. Pass your dots. Oh, the pal and shot is shot wide. Colin right to the other side. One minute to go. Omar makes a save with just only 58 seconds in the third period. Now well, both teams are in the faceoff. Near it coming down the wire, it's still tied in. The next goal could be it. Kreji wins it, and Lindholm is right towards the other side. Passes to Carlo. Carlo right towards the wing of the offense zone. Gets bumped off, and Furbix right over to the other end to Colton. Colton looking over with the odd man rush. Try to take the attack, the ball shot, save! Man, Olmark is doing really good. Point points, Colton. Swing to Jeanette. Jeanette trying to regroup it, and it's Kreji. Takes the Pasternox. Over again on the other side. Right now, Pasternox is in there. Two and one shot. Good reflex off, and it's stopped by Vizilevsky. Sacha in. Gloved it away. And Kreji still has one. Trying to take a shot. It stepped away. Sacha blocked it out. Colton pass to Furbix. Trying to get an opener. You're out of time right now. We're going to overtime. And Furbix will have it fired out. So that takes us to the second time. Now we're heading into overtime for the first game of the doubleheader. We'll be right back after this break. Well, folks, it all comes down to overtime. This is where it does happen to get tricky for Tampa and Boston. Last time, it was a double overtime, and when it was the Bruins' win. But for now, Tampa Bay hasn't won overtime quite a while in the second round. Since last postseason, they've already been lost. That was all that did happen. And it's not very that tough that everyone keeps it going. Well, and you, sn and you know that this was very that difficulty to try to keep it going. The offense run can be a hard and nightmare, but if you're playing on defense, you would have more time to like spread it around a bit and then try to go with the offense run. They're really a tough team, and you know, this is what everyone's complaining, complaining about how they are doing it, and a lot faster they are, they're doing it as best as they can. So now, they definitely have it all. One power play goal for the Boston Bruins, and one Tampa Bay Bolts power play goal happened already on the other side. One out of two for Boston and ones for Tampa. Now it comes down to overtime. The next one goal wins, wins. And we will be heading to game four after the NBA playoffs. Well, this might be the only tough one that everybody really calls for, but it looks like we got a trouble one here. It's gonna be tough, then you got it. All right, let's get overtime started as we are approaching. Overtime about to set for Game 3 at Tampa Bay. Here we go. The overtime starts now in Game 3. Orlov right towards the right wing, and now he will swing it over. Killorn takes the puck away. Victor Hyphen trying to go around the other attacker. Passes the point. Move around him, and it's blocked up. McAvoy recovers the puck here now into the Bolts territory to find an open man. Looks to Bergeron and it's stopped by Bogashan. To Point. Point moving over into the offense wing. In the left. Point by Squillard. Oh, Olmark made that save. Trying to pull up a heavy one on the offense. They're just trying to get rid of it fast. Now their both teams are set, ready to take the face off in just about under 19 minutes in overtime. Now here's Orlov over again to McAvoy. 
McAvoy still swinging across from the outside, now finds Bergeron. To Marchand, move on inside, shot, and good save by Veselevsky. Now Killorn over again to Hedman. Hedman back to Killorn, trying to move it across in the wing to Kucherov, over it again, rebound and stopped. Oh, big save by Omar. That's what everyone was complaining, Omar. He's better defenseman and try to block the shot. And there it is! Pasternas gets his hat trick and wins in overtime. And there's an OT winner for the Bruins. May extend it. Three out. Well, this all that happens now. Game is definitely finished. I guess that's it. That's Pasternas with the overtime winner. What do you know? David Pasternak makes a slap shot, and with that, beats Veselevsky. And with a hat trick goal, it's over. Well, as you're being said right now, fan along with Lightbulb and Mifo. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night in the Molly Arena. Take care, everyone. All right, thank you so much, fan. Time for your three star players of the game. The third star, as we're taking you over, is Nick Burbix. A uh, two assists and two hits. Only did happen once, but that's a great assist to Hagel. The second star on the other hand, we got another one. Victory Lane, Charlie Coyle. Only two goals in the hit. He didn't get a hat trick this time, but all he does, he made a power play goal to tie this game up. And your first star, your ultimate man winner, David Pasternak. Your overtime winner with three goals of a hat trick. That's a finish for him to get it all. Well, here's how they did with the total statistics on the other hand. Tampa had 55, 49 for Boston. 22 and 21 was the total hit combination. 634 for Boston and 626 for Tampa Bay. 92 percentage, but .7 was Boston and Tampa was a close call. 28 base off wins for Boston and 21 for Tampa Bay. Two minute penalty kill for Boston and four minute penalty kill for Tampa Bay. One power play goal for Boston in the same game goes with Tampa Bay, but the power play minutes was 353 and 104 for Tampa Bay. Well, no shorthanded goal, so that will do the trick. That ends the game in game number three. The extension for the Bruins is cut to 3-0 to strike out the Bolts. Will they have a win for the next game in game four? Find out after the NBA playoffs of the coverage matchup in each game. This will be a win or go home for Tampa Bay. They have to stay alive. If they don't, they are eliminated. And the Bruins will be heading on to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in this postseason. Well, that's it for me. And you're going to be tuning in to the Kraken and the Kings. We got you next. I will be here for commentating here on the center ice. As right now, somebody else will be taking it over. Mifo will be taking it over from here. As right now, we'll be a little, do a little musical chairs, and right at this point, we'll get back to you soon. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL 23 of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Good night in Tampa Bay, along with the victory win of Boston. See you next time. Game if coming up in just a bit. If you don't, somebody will.